Henry, you've been named to start um, on Sunday against Cardiff Blues, making your 100th appearance. It must be a great occasion for you. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's obviously a massive game for the club and it's great to be back. It's been a long time for me, so um, yeah, I'm excited to run out in front of the Scots and Crown. First time in a while for us, so it'll be an exciting occasion. Has that 100th appearance been something that you've been aiming for for a while? Uh, well, I've just been aiming to get back, to be honest. It's, I've known for a long time. I've been on 99 uh, since the final. But um, yeah, it'll be a, a special occasion for myself and the family uh, when, I, when I get out there. It was certainly a special memory. The last time you pulled on the Glasgow shirt, you're now coming into a crucial time in the in the season. You must be looking forward to the games ahead. Yeah, obviously the last time I played was, was the final and it was a great day for the club. But um, new season and new challenge really, I suppose. We're still in with a great shout of making the playoffs and we've been on a good run the last two weeks. So we need to, to continue that and it's a massive game against a strong Cardiff team. And I suppose reaching your 100th cap is a good time to reflect on your time at the Warriors so far. Um, what was your highlights of your time here obviously winning the title last season was certainly one of them. Yeah, I mean, firstly, I suppose making the move up from, from university down Loughborough to, to Glasgow was great and, and getting the opportunity to play professional rugby. And then, yeah, I mean, it was great being part of a squad that, that progressed so much over the last few years. You know, we made a few semi-finals and then made a final. And then obviously last year, getting to the, um, getting to the, the final and winning it was amazing. And with that, you know, playing well for Glasgow has brought, brought Scotland caps to me, which, is, which has also been a great honour and, and hopefully a few more of them to come. You managed to captain Scotland twice in the summer, once in the World Cup warm-up against Ireland and also in the actual World Cup itself against USA. What was that like for you and do you think that sort of developed you as a person and a player? Yeah, it was uh, obviously a huge honour and privilege to get the chance to captain Scotland. It's, uh, you know, um, I, loved, I loved the whole World Cup experience and that was, that was amazing. Uh, getting that chance at Ireland, something I already thrived on, I think. And, and again, getting the chance in the World Cup, something I'll remember and cherish for a long time. Uh, and it was great, great experience. Obviously, the team went, went well in the World Cup and, and are looking to build on that now. But um, yeah, it's also something I've learned a lot from the experience. And it's great. I've had a few chances to do that here at Glasgow as well. And, and I'll take that forward with me. And we're here at Scotsman with the pitch behind us. It's playable. Um, you must be really looking forward to getting back out on there. Yeah, I know the boys have been chatting about it. It's been a few weeks since we've had the opportunity to play here. And, I know it's been a frustrating time for the fans, but players and management are like it's been. You know, we love playing at Scots, and it's such a great atmosphere here with the fans. They make it a, a great place to play, and, it, and it's become a real fortress. You know, we haven't lost lost much here over the last few years, so we definitely want to get that going again and make it a hard place for teams to come starting this weekend.